All right, everyone, you have been so wonderful in tuning into my vlogs, perhaps since the beginning of the vlog story, which was about a year and a half ago. It was January 2017. That was the first vlog that I released. And oh my gosh, it was a bad. If you have been sticking with me that whole time, man, I have such huge appreciation for you. But you know what? We're going to talk a little bit about that humility of what I have learned along the way. And this is actually something that a number of people have asked me is they want to learn about what's my process, not because it's perfect. There are lots of people who do a way better job than me and frankly, probably invest a lot more time and energy from their business into it. But you know, I, I'm going to share with you how to make it sustainable because that's the bottom line for me is that this is a way of staying in front of the people that I really appreciate, that I really care about, who are on my list. This is a way of continually adding value. Hopefully, hope, I hope I'm continuing to contribute to your, your business growth, your career growth, your personal growth. And, and it's not all figured out and it's not all perfect, but that's the essence. Because so many people that learned about vlogging at the same time as I did who hadn't started, these are some of the things that they share with me as excuses. See if you can relate to this. They say, well, I don't, I don't have enough content for my core area of expertise, so I'm, I'm going to wait until my brand is clearer. Well, you know what? As you've probably been seeing, I don't always have stuff that's directly related to my core brand of expertise recognition either. So, you know, that's, that's one thing and I hear what you're saying and you can just keep moving anyway. Number two, what I hear is I don't have the money in my business to invest in this and I don't have the time to learn how. Okay, well, maybe so. But again, I see vlogging as an investment. And the third thing I hear is I don't have a big enough list. Who am I really going to share this with? Or I don't have a YouTube following. But then my question to you would be, well, how are you going to get one if you don't start producing? So if you're deciding that you want to move ahead and you want to know my process, I'm going to share it with you. The first thing is that I have a file folder where anytime I have an insight, an idea, whether it's a metaphor and a very loose concept right through to a great article that I want to talk about, I'll just fold it up and I'll put it in my blog, vlog folder, which at this point is about this thick because it has past research and articles that I want to dip into again in the future. It's got things that I'm thinking about. It's got my past vlogs too. And, and it's, it's just, you know, it's a, it's a resource. It's a source that I can go to for inspiration. The next thing I would say to you is use a template, use a structure. And in fact, if you want to email me, Sarah with an H at greatnessmagnified.com, I'll give you my template because it was given to me. Martin Latulipe and Dan Martel and some wonderful fellow speakers, they have shared theirs with me. I've just sort of tweaked and modified, tried theirs, seen, seen what works. And I follow almost every single vlog the same structure, even though the topic's different, even though the area is different, even though my energy is different, the thinking process to design the flow of it is the same. The third thing that I would suggest to you is if you don't want to invest the time and energy into learning how to edit, to buy the equipment, then work with somebody local, work with somebody that you trust. There's lots of really affordable options. I wish I could turn the camera around and show you wonderful Stacy, who is patiently sitting on the grass in my backyard. That's how wonderful she is. She's sitting here patiently filming this and then she's going to go and she's going to edit it. And you know what? Stacy wasn't the first person I found. We had to, I had to start filming and see who was going to be the right fit for me. And she just gets me. She's super professional. She's got great equipment. She's constantly reinvesting in her craft from both a performance standpoint as well as the equipment. And I know I'm in very good hands with her. And so that's one of the things to think about if one of the barriers for you is, is I don't want to take the time or they invest the money in having the equipment. The other thing, if you're concerned about the financial impact, then maybe you have somebody in your life Maybe it's a, a kid or that's in your family. Maybe it's a cousin. Maybe it's somebody who, who needs to create so, some footage so that they develop their portfolio. There may in fact somebody be in your life that could get you started. And then once you start to have an uptake in your videos, then you're willing to make that investment. But the bottom line is have somebody good doing it. If you want to do it yourself, that's awesome. That's really, really cool because you know what? Progress is better than perfect. And so just get it done. Um, the next thing is, um, I would say, is focus on serving. Um, 
the the earlier concern that some people have shared that I, I mentioned already around it being exactly aligned to your brand. I mean, you certainly don't want to talk about everything under the sun. I'm not going to start talking about airplanes and culinary cuisine and all of that stuff. But everything I share with you, although it's not all exactly about recognition, my core of expertise, it's all related to things I do. So work that I do in from a coaching realm, it may be entrepreneurial things that I've learned, it may be stresses that I'm hearing people experiencing that they come and talk to me after a keynote. And so um, whether you like it or not, I guess is the other issue. You're the consumer, so you can tell me if I've hit the mark or if I'm off the mark, but my philosophy is anything that's in my world that that my somebody who's consuming some version of what I have to offer and there's a need to fill that's what I try to make sure that my vlogs are about and the last thing is when you're when you created when you've worked so hard to produce these videos make sure that you're really maximizing it we have our videos that are transcribed using rev.com so for a dollar a minute we have them transcribed my wonderful va she makes sure that she tags it she shares it up on youtube and 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 we're learning that whole process to get you know better spread and better recognition and better views and it's, it's all a big learning process but she helps me with that because that way i can be working on other parts of my business but definitely, definitely, even if it's you're an N of one, you're doing everything yourself, please make sure you share it to all of your different social media outlets and consider this to be, if you are a talker like I am, this is actually the best way to, to get out of having to sit down and force yourself to write a blog post every single week because that's what you think you need to do. Now granted, on the flip side, if you're more a writer than, than a blogger, than a, than a vlogger, I should say, then maybe actually you're going to do this very rarely that most of the time what you put out there is written but don't forget that you can also do all of this stuff you can start with lives and then you can download even facebook lives you can download it and then upload that to youtube because the point is it doesn't have to be perfectly crafted it doesn't have to be edited with such finesse that the queen wants to watch it the point is you're here to serve if you're not, if, if that's, if there's any other reason other than serving, then I guess what is the point? So that's my process. I hope you found that really helpful. What other elements do you do? If you're a, if you're a vlogger, if you do this regularly, what other suggestions do you have? Or what questions do you have? Because I'm happy to answer those too. In the meantime, and this is the final tip, give a call to action. So here's my call to action. If you found this really helpful, you want to come back week after week, wanted to subscribe to my YouTube channel or sign up for Greatness Magnified, and you will get this in your inbox every single Monday morning. Thanks so much, everyone. Be well, be great, and happy filming.